everybody and welcome to Simone's part of the Twitter Q&A where I will be answering your questions. Let's start. SR Polaris asks, what was the inspiration behind the lyrics of Storm to Sorrow? Storm to Sorrow is about fighting your own demons as well as negativity coming from the outside that can be uh, people, um, situation you're in, just trying to make the, the best out of it and become more confident and believe in yourself and yeah, try to avoid those inner demons. Alexandra asks the hardest song to write lyrics for and that question was directed towards me and I think for this latest album it would be Dakota Poetry. With some songs you just get inspiration and the writing process goes real smooth and goes quick and sometimes you're just stuck in a rut. I think the end result is what matters you know, and it doesn't matter how long it takes. And my question to you, how do you guys like the EP, the solar system? I'm really excited to hear your thoughts about that. Bruno Orsini asks, would you like to do a collaboration with Tarja? And my answer is yes, I would love to. And I hope that one day it will happen. David V asks, uh, if Epica had not existed, what would you be doing right now? And I am a huge fan of anything in the art scene. I just love being creative, whether it's singing, makeup artistry, photography, blogging, cooking. Jose asks, did, uh, did you ever think about doing new versions of old songs, but with special guests? Um, that would be a cool idea. We have kind of renewed some old Epica songs by adding uh, a verse here and there for the audience to sing along to, for example, with Cry for the Moon, Sensorium, we've added two bars where people can get a little bit physical and start clapping to the beat. Um, and uh, we've done guest performances, you know, with Santa Terra, Storm the Sorrow, Christina was recently there with me. Elise sang with me, Storm the Sorrow, Flor has sung on Santa Terra, Marcella sang on Santa Terra, and I always like to do collaborations. I think it's fun and the audience seems to, seem to like it. Have you ever thought to tour with an orchestra? We have thought about that and we've worked with an orchestra before and it's proven to be quite a big organization to get to have it all happen, to get the whole orchestra on the stage. Uh, it's it's a circus, it's a fun circus, but it's quite a hassle to arrange everything. So for now, we're just keeping it for special occasions. Alexander asks, where do you find the energy to do many live performances and how do you all stay in shape? I stay in shape by trying to keep my uh, diet healthy. Um, I sleep a lot on tour, I try to sleep a lot. I work out and I don't party, I drink very little alcohol, I don't smoke, that's it. Ingrid asks, which vocal warm-ups does Simone do before a gig? Well, I normally like to do humming um, exercises, just simple scales, or when I don't forget to bring it with me, Luxvox, that's like a little tube, um, a rubber tube that you put into a bottle that's filled half with water and you dunk it in for like two centimeters. You place it between your teeth like really loosely and um, wrap your lips around it. Everything should be really relaxed and then you do your exercises and like that you warm up the vocal cords in a gentle way and you don't damage the eardrums of your bandmates. Yoshiki asks what's your favorite cartoon and that would be South Park. I just love the sarcastic humor and even though all of the characters look alike, you can still see who they're trying to portray. And I think it's just awesome. And another movie um, that I love of the creators of South Park would be Team America. I think that's pretty brilliant too. So thank you all very much for sending in your questions. I had fun answering these and I hope to see you guys on the road during our European tour with Fuhr and Myrath this November. And if you wanna see where we're going to be playing, please go to our website, epica.nl slash tour, and I hope to see you guys on the road. Bye-bye.